guess we're good. <laughs> anyway, kind of a surprise entrance into the playoffs here, right? I mean, a, a big change of plans. How, how did everything uh, unfold from your side? Man, it was great, you know. I was uh, ready for this opportunity, and when opportunity knocks, you got to take it. So I was already training. I was an a alternate, so it was great, man. You know, I'm glad I'm here. Was there any difficulty, because like I said, you're an alternate, but you can, eh, maybe I'm done for the year, I'll kind of hang out a little bit. I mean, was no. it tough to stay like focused and as dialed in as you need to be? No, no, uh, I was training hard and I was ready to be an alternate on this one and then go to the next one. So I'm always training, man. I got nothing better to do, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, staying busy, right? I mean, you haven't yeah. been able to fight this frequently, I don't think, like throughout your entire career. Yeah. So how have you found that? Have, has it been more challenging maybe than you thought or have you enjoyed it w what have you thought about it man i enjoyed it you know like the first time in my career that i fight this often and uh like i said i'm always training so uh, i'm glad i did this because i trained like this before without having fights so being able to fight uh, this much it's uh, it's great man I, I i hope i can do this more you know very nice. Talk about the matchup you have. Obviously, you fought some of the absolute best in the world. Yeah. Where does he stack up? What do you think of the skills and, and this fight itself? Yeah, man, uh, I fought the best already. I fought uh, world champions, and uh, uh, this time is no different. Fighting another tough guy, and uh, I, I will put my jiu-jitsu on display again, and uh, something tells me that this is going to be a, a good one, you know? Yeah, stylistically looks fun. He was here earlier. I don't think he was trying to talk trash, but yeah. he's like, ah, he's a jiu-jitsu guy. Yeah. Obviously, the family name, you're a jiu-jitsu guy, right? Yeah. But do you feel like people are overlooking you if they say you're a jiu-jitsu guy? Yeah. Uh, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy, you know? <laughs> so he's right. <laughs> and... Uh, but I'm not just a jiu-jitsu guy. I'm a, a different uh, type of a jiu-jitsu guy, and I'm going to show that on Friday night, and uh, he's going to learn some jiu-jitsu Friday. <laughs> That's awesome. Last thing for me, I you can't look ahead of this uh, first fight, but what would it mean? I mean, new home here to, to, to be a champion here. What, yeah. what would it mean for you? Man, it means a lot. I say that this, uh, the belt means more than the money for me, so uh, I want the belt, uh, and I want it bad, you know, so... Uh, the money is just going to be a consequence, but the belt, it's something special for me and my legacy. Hey, Neiman, just two for me. So, I'm actually a white belt under Hollis Gracie, so I wanted to ask how, it, how much it means to you to have random people across the country just... Yeah like connected to your family and their name yeah. like how does it feel knowing your family has just made that much of an impact man it's amazing it's like uh how can i say i can see that my great-grandfather realizes his dream you know which was spreading jiu-jitsu all over and he definitely did what he was supposed to do in his lifetime so i think we change a lot of people's lives for the good and I see that everywhere I go. I meet new people that trains with a cousin of mine. And, uh, so it's it's amazing, you know. So have you switched things up at all coming into this fight, or have you been training with the same camp, same people? Just uh, it, right, No, I've been, been training with different people. So I've been training with Tyler Wombles. With, uh, he's been my striking coach, and it's been amazing, you know. Uh, he's from Classic Fight Team down in, in Huntington Beach. Uh, I still training with my jiu-jitsu coach Felipe Della Monica. He's an amazing coach. He he's the one that takes care of my whole camp, and uh, he's just a phenomenal guy. And I still learn jiu-jitsu every day with him. You know, I've been training jiu-jitsu since a little kid, but I still learn from him a lot. And I have my wrestling coach that helped me for my last fight, and he's been helping me for, throughout my whole career, Cody Hamra. And I think I show a, a, a good wrestling last time, and uh, it's because he's been helping me a lot. So I have these three guys here with me, and of course I always have my family by my side. So it's it's a, it's great. Thank you. All right, let's go to Carlito Fight Talk. Hey, brother, how you doing? It's good to see you again. Good, brother. And what can we all expect? And um, how was training camp leading up to this one? So training camp was great. It's been a training camp for the since the beginning of the year. So I've been on training camp nonstop. It's been great. And you guys can expect a great fight and a submission win. 
Man, excellent, excellent. I mean, I always love to see you fight. And what can we all expect under the lights, bro? You know, DC, the nation's capital. And how, what kind of a performance are you gonna put on, bro, besides the submission? Man, I wanna put up uh, one of the best performances of my life, you know, so. I hope uh, I show up well that day, and I think I will, so it's going to be great. Don't miss this one. Excellent, excellent. And uh, let everybody know where they can follow you at, you know, your social medias. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't need to follow me. It's all right. Damn. Okay, brother, I got you. I look forward to seeing you Friday. See you. All right, last question goes to Mills. Hey, how's it going? Good, brother. I mean, this is MMA Locker Room on Punk Sports Radio. I just wanted to say, man, you've been uh, carrying yourself as a real uh, martial artist all throughout your career. Um, you know, with that being said, if you're a big underdog in this match right here, and jiu-jitsu is kind of a sport to where you got to go out there and put your best foot forward and go for the kill sometimes. Are you going for the kill in this one? Yes, man, I am. Uh, this is my, my plan, you know. I'm going to... I'm gonna go with everything I got to get a finish. And then one other thing, a lot of martial arts don't seem to survive throughout the years, but it seems like jujitsu is still right here as one of the top tier uh, martial arts in the sports. Uh, what does that mean for you to keep that legacy alive for your family? It means a lot, man. I've been carrying this legacy since I was born and I will do until I die. So uh, it's amazing, you know, and jujitsu, we all know it's the best martial art, so we're still here. After 100 years, my family has been fighting, and we're going to keep going.